Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the DMS Colorado camp. Coming back through the spirit and probably how about you with another video. And this is going to be another installment of By Faith and Not By Sight, you know, because this is just a little series I've been doing, you know, exhortation, uh, Boosting his brother's faith, Lord willing, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, just just giving an understanding that everything that we believe is, is is strictly based on faith, man. You see, we haven't seen none of these things come to pass. You know what I'm saying? We, we just we've just been blessed with the gift of faith and these words and the Holy Spirit and the Most High, as you know, he he he's nurturing our faith and allowing it to grow, man. And we believe in everything that's written in this book from the front to the back, man. And we know that everything is going from the past. And one of those things that's going to come to pass is spiritual power, man. And we lead, and we believe all that through our faith. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen, we, we, we wasn't there to uh, recall the accounts of when the Most High gave his men spiritual power. But we, we, we believe it because we walk by faith, man. You know? So this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You see that? So faith is the substance of things hopeful, evidence of things not seen. So we're hoping in the spiritual power coming. Have we seen it? No. But we're hoping and having faith that it will come, as the Most High said, right? Let's go to uh, verse 6. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And that's what we've been doing, man. We have been diligently seeking Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai ever since we heard this truth, man. You see, the apostles and the elders, 35 plus years, man. The elders under him, 20 plus years. And so forth and so on, man. When we heard this word, it lit a fire under our ass. And we got to work through the spirit and fire. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And we did all that through what? Through our faith, man. You see, we diligently seeking the Most High. So he has a reward for us, Lord, whether we continue to endure. You see, we have to endure until the end, just as Yahweh Shah said, man. He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. You know? So let's go right here. Let's go to Romans. We got Romans 1 and 17. For therein is the righteous of the Most High revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. You see, and that's how we live, man. We live off of the gift of faith that we have been uh, blessed with from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, man. You see? We ain't got to see nothing tangible. We ain't got to touch a cherry. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to touch Yahweh Shah. We know they're there. And that's all through our faith, man. That's something we've been blessed with. See, all the scoffers and the mockers and the shit talkers, they're scoffers and mockers and shit talkers because they don't have faith. You see? Letting you know that they're not the just, man. But we are out there on the highways and byways each and every week through the spirit of Pavi Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah doing these videos each and every day through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, through our what? Through our faith, man. Because we believe in what's written. You see, we can actually see this vision, man. We can envision these things coming to pass, man. And that's all a blessing from the Most High to even have that vision, to even have that faith, man. But that's how we're living. The just shall live by faith. You see? While everybody else is, is hoping in tangible things that they can see, we're, hope, we're hoping in the invisible, man. We're hoping in the... Uh, our hope is in the heavens, man. You see? That's how we're walking and that's how we're living. By faith, man. So let's go to 2 Corinthians. Then I'm going to get into the scriptures I have uh, lined up for this lesson, man. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 7, man. For we walk by faith and not by sight. You see that? We walk by faith and not by sight. You have all these people saying, prove me this, prove me that. No, man. At the end of the day, if we tell you some of these scriptures, either you're going to believe it or not. If you don't believe it, it's because you don't have faith, man. You see? 
That's how we're walking. We're walking by faith that everything is going to be okay. We're walking by faith that the Most High is going to give us the spiritual power, man. You see, as he has given it, given, given it to men in times past. You see, we're, we're doing all of this by our faith, man. Have we seen the kingdom of heaven? No, but we know it's coming according to prophecy. And we believe that through what? Through our faith, man. You see, which is a gift that was given unto us by the heavenly father. So 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. That's how we're walking. We ain't got to touch nothing. We ain't got to touch nothing. All we need is the word and the Holy Spirit, man. You see? And this faith that we have been blessed with. That's all we need. And everything else is going to play out because what? We're living by faith and not by walking by faith and not by sight. So like, since I keep bringing that up, the gift that has been given unto us by the Heavenly Father. What was it? Uh, let me see. Ephesians 2 and 8. So this is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. You see that? For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. So that's how we're saved, man. We're saved by faith, man. And the thing is, we didn't wake up one morning and say, oh, I got faith in the Lord. No, man. It is a gift given unto us from the foundation of the earth by the Heavenly Father. When we heard this word, it was activated, man. You see? And the Most High has been uh, watering it ever since, man. The Most High has been giving us the increase in faith ever since we came into this truth. And it's going to continue to grow, Lord willing. You see, this is all a gift from the Most High to believe in these words, man. To believe in these promises that the Most High has promised unto us is all by faith, which is a gift from the, heavenly from the Heavenly Father himself, man. And that's how we're saved, through our faith in what's written, through our faith in Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, and our faith in Yahweh Shah, which is the only begotten Son, the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. That's how we're saved, through our faith, man. You see? So now, let's go to Romans, back to Romans, right? 15 and 4. So Romans 15 and 4 says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning. You see that? Because this, this is our history book, man. This this is our, our, our heritage, our culture. You can find all that in these scriptures, man. All these things that the most I had these, uh, the, the scribes write down, you see, was for us in this time to learn from. You see that we that we through patience and comforts of the comfort of the scriptures might have hope going back into what faith man let's go into our word hope expectation of evil fear expectation of good hope in the Israelite sense joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation on on hope in hope having hope the author of hope or he. Uh, or he who is his foundation, the thing hoped for. And it goes right here to the Strong's. It goes with, back into what, man? Faith. You see? Strong's definition. Expectation or confidence. Faith. That's what it's all about, man. And that's why these scriptures are written to increase our faith, man. You see? To increase our faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's what it does, man. So let's go into some of the things that were written aforetime, man. So we can learn. And know and understand that these times or these things that happened in the ancient times are about to happen in these times here. You see? So we, the first account we're going to go to is 2 Samuel. And let's see what King David has to say. 2 Samuel chapter 22. And we'll start at 29, man. 2 Samuel 22 and 29. For thou art my lamp, O Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah will lighten my darkness. And that's what the Most High has done. In this times here, man, before we came into the truth, we were in complete darkness, man, blind, walking dead, you see, had no understanding of a damn thing, man. Hey, but through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, we were given that light. We were giving Yahweh Shah, and now we can see, you see. The most high, he, he, what? He lightened our darkness, man, and put us apart of that madness of the, uh, the wickedness of this world. And now we're serving him diligently, man, all through the spirit and power of the most high. Verse 30, for by thee have I run through a troop. You see that? So King David saying by the power of the Most High, he ran through a troop. Let's go into our word troop, man. He said he ran, into a, he ran through a troop, right? A band, troop, marauding band, marauding band, raiding band, troop. 
band of divisions of army. You see that? You see? Company troop of robbers. Army. You see that? A crowd, especially, especially of soldiers, army. You see that? So through the power of Yahweh, Shimei King David ran through an army, man. You see that? That's the type of power that's coming back to the men of the Lord, man. And we believe all this through our faith, man. That, that, that faith is, is, is a driving force that we have been blessed with, man. Faith above all else, man. By, by my power have I leaped over a wall. So by the power of the Most High, he leaped over the wall, man. I leaped over a wall. And when you go back into the ancient times, do you understand how high, the, how, how these walls are? What, what walls were? You, you people are fucking amazed by LeBron dunking the damn basketball in the 10-foot rim. That ain't shit to what King David did, man. King David was hopping 30, 40, 50 feet in the air, man. Over walls. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah was shot, man. That's the type of power that's coming back to the men of the Lord. You see? Verse 31. As for the Most High, his way is perfect. It is. The word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah was shot, is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. So the Most High is our defense, man. Because we trust in him. Through our what? Through our faith, man. You see? That shield of faith, man, is going to be key to getting through these times, man. So 32. Who is the Most High? Save Yahweh. Or who is, and who is a rock? Save our power. Right. Verse 33. The Most High is my strength and power. And he maketh my way perfect. You see that? So that's what we're putting our trust in, man. We're not putting, no, we're not putting our trust in no carnal, uh, carnal things, man. We're not out here buying up a whole bunch of fucking weapons and ammunition. Because that's not going to save us, man. The Most High is our strength and power, man. The gun is not our strength and power. You see, and that's what we that's what we truly believe, man. I don't got no dang, I don't even want no gun, man. I don't want none of this. I want the spiritual power the most I was promised, man. You see? That gun shit is whack. That's Esau's blessing, man. Let that nigga have that. You know? The most high, yeah, how about Shimmy How Shot is my strength and power. And maketh my way perfect. Verse 34. He maketh my feet like Hans' feet, and Hans Hines is a deer. So King David was swift and agile, man. Cause if you seen a deer run through the uh, th through the woods, through the furs, man, they be they getting it. You know what I'm saying? They be hauling ass, man. So King David was running like a deer, man. He had agile feet, like a deer. You see? And that was all through the power of the Most High, man. Instead of instead of me upon my high places, he teacheth my hands to war. So that a bowl of steel is broken by my arms. So King David had super strength, man. Breaking a bowl of steel, man. Do you know how difficult it is? You can't even, you can't even bend an iron bar, man. That lets you know that the most I had to pour that spirit upon him heavy for him to do these things, man. And that's the same thing that's coming to the men of the Lord in this time, man. That's why I read the things that are written for a uh, full time are written for our learning to understand and know that all this power that the most High gave his men in the times past is going to be the same power that the most High pours upon his men in this time and even greater, even greater, man. You see? And that's what's written. So let's go to first Kings. Let's get in another account of a man of the Lord with spiritual power. First King. Chapter one, we'll start at seven. It's like it. Second Kings. It's like it. It's like it. Second Kings 1 and 7. Man, I'm messing up. Second Kings. All right. <laughs> Second Kings 1 and 7. Sheesh. All right. Second Kings 1 and 7. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came, to, came up to meet you and told you these words? And they answered him, he was, an hairy, he was an hairy man and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, it is Elijah the Tishbite. So this is an account of Elijah, right? Now listen to what Elijah, Elijah was doing. Verse 9, then the king sent unto him a captain of 50 with his 50. And he went up to him and behold, he sat on the top of an hill and he spake unto, <laughs> unto him, thou man of the most high. The king have said, come down. 
And, the, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, if, a man, if I be a man of the Most High, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. So Elijah had the power to call down fire from the heavens, man. That's spiritual power. You see? The same type of power that men are going to receive in this time, and the men of the Lord are going to receive the same type of power, man. The things, are written, the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope or faith in these things happening, man. Once again, you see, this is what's coming. This is the type of power that we serve, man, and this is the type of power that he's going to bestow upon his men if we continue to what? Diligently seek him, man. He's going to do these things for us once again, man. 1 Kings chapter 1 verse 11. And also he sent unto him another captain of 50 with his 50. And he answered and said unto him, O man of the Most High, thus have the king said, Come down quickly. Verse 12. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of the Most High, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And the fire of the, and the, fire of the Most High came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Man, You see that once again. It's the second time he did it, man. You see? So now Elijah just took out 101 people, man. <laughs> you see? Easy. Easy through the spirit of power. How about you, I was shot, man? Well, 102 people. Let me say that. Can't forget the captain. You see? Verse 13. And he sent again the captain of the third 50 with his 50. And the captain of 50 went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of the Most High, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up the two, the two captains of fifty, the, the two captains of the former fifties and their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. So he was begging, man, please, please don't rain fire down upon me <laughs> and, and these men. Spare our life. You see? This is the type of power that's coming, man. And, and, and the Most High is going to allow us to display that power so he can receive that glory. Because what? This ain't of us. This ain't going to be of us. This is all going to be of the Most High. This is what we've been saying, uh, starting with the uh, Apostle Har, 35 plus years, man. That this is the power of the Most High. And the Most High is about to show that, man. Uh, uh, he's about to make a great display of his power so he, he can be glorified in the earth. And he's going to be glorified through what? Through his men, man. You see? So verse 15, and the angel of Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him unto the king. You see that? You see? So that's the account of Elijah raining down fire from heaven, man. You see? All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah. All from the spirit, all through the spirit and power of the heavenly father, the almighty, the ancient of days, the one true living power, man. Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah, man. You see, that's the same thing that's coming in these times. Let's get another account. Because the Most High bad, man. The Most High is bad, man. Power that we can't even imagine. You know what I'm saying? And the Most High is going to unlock, uh, 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 unlock us in these bodies, man. And he's going to let us loose. You see, as he, as he has done to our forefathers in the past, man. So let's go to 2 Samuel. We're going to go to 29. Oh, I'm jumping back up. I'm in the Judges. So like you. Judges 15. And this is the account of Samson. And what, what was Samson doing, man? Let's, let's get it. Samson Judges. Samson Judges. God damn it. <laughs> judges 15 and 14. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. And the spirit of Yahweh came mightily upon him. You see that the most I poured his spirit up in Samson, man. And the cords that were upon his arms be, became as flax that they that was burnt with fire, and his bands loose from off his hands. And he found and he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it, and slew a thousand men therewith. Come on, man, you come on, man. He slew a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass, man. You see that? Why? Because the Most High poured that spirit upon him, and he got busy through the spirit and probably how about Shemiah was shot. That's the same thing that's about to happen in these times, man. That's the same power that's about to be bestowed upon us. Lord willing, we be those men. 
You see, this is the same type of power that's coming back unto us through in these times, man. All from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Through Yahweh Shah. You see? So it says, Judges 15 and 15, and he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. And Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps. With the jawbone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. Come on, man. The things that are written the full time are written for our learning that we through comfort of the scriptures might have hope that this is going to be bestowed upon us once again, man. And it is. And it is, man. That's how we live in, by our faith, man. By faith and not by sight. All we have are these accounts, but that's all we need, man. You see? So Judges 15 and 17, And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand and called the place Rama, Ramath Lehi. And he was sore athirst and called on Yah. Listen to this. Judges 15 and 18. And he was sore, and he was sore athirst and called on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant. And now shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised? And the most high clave in hollow place that was in the jaw. And there came water there out. <laughs> and he drunk. His spirit came again and he revived. Wherefore he called the name thereof in Hakor which is in Lehi until this day. So not only did the Most High pour, pour the power, the spirit upon him to take out a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass, he also clave out a place in that jawbone that he killed all those men with, and water came out of it, man. And water came out of it, man. Letting you know what? My servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, man. The Most High is going to take care of us, man. You see that? This is, is all going to be done because of our faith, man. All through the spirit and power, how about Shemiah Washa? You see? Now let's go here. Let's go to 2 Sam, uh, Samuel. Let's get some more, man. 2 Samuel 23. I'm going to start at 8. Now these are the mighty men of King David, man. These are the, these are the men who were around with David to the end, man. You see? Now let's let's see what's, what's some of the things that they were doing. So 2 Samuel chapter 23 and 8. These be the names of the mighty men whom David had, the Tachmonite that sat in the seat chief among the captains. The same was Adino the Esnite. He lifted up his spear against 800 whom he slew at one time. Can, now, come on, man. Come on, man. You see, Adino slew 800 men by himself with a spear. Is that humanly possible? No, it's not. That's only possible through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's what we're going to continue to say. This is not going to be of our power. This is not going to be of our might or by our strength or by nothing that we can do. Because we are worms, man. We have nothing without Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We are able to do these great feats because of our father. Because of our brother, man. You see that? Because of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's why we're going to be able to do these things, man. Just like our forefathers did these things. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We believe that through what? Through our faith. Because we walk by our faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith, man. This type of power is coming, man. Avengers type power. Dragon Ball Z type power, man. All that. The Most High had all that written. Uh, 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 had these heathen make all that for us, man. To go back and filter it through the scriptures. Everything that you see in those shows and those animes and these movies. They pulled all that from these scriptures, man. And we're reading about some of these accounts that they, they, that they read and made shows up out of, man. They read these accounts and made movies out of them, man. All those shows are based upon the Israelites and the power that we receive from the Heavenly Father, man. You see? So let's keep going. Second, uh, Second Samuel 23 and 9. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David when they defied the Philistines that were that were there gathered together to battle and the men of Israel were going away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand clave unto, his, unto the sword. And, who, and look, listen to this. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah wrought a great victory that day. 
and the people returned after him to to only only to spoil. You see that? So the Most High wrote these victories, man. That word wrought goes into work. So the Most High worked the great victory in that day, and the same thing is gonna happen in this time, man. Cause it ain't it, like like we walk around as normal men right now, and when the power does come, you think we just woke up one day and we just had that power, but because of us, no, man. It was all because of the Most High. He's working through us, man. Right now, he's working through us to do what? To push this word. Next, he's going to be working through us to take down these governments, man. All through his power. Baha Shem you see? Verse 11. And after him was Shema, the son of Agi, the ha, the ha ra right. And the Philistines were gathered together in a troop. Going back into an army, right? And the Philistines were gathered together into a troop where where was a piece of ground full of lentils and the people fled from the Philistines but he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah wrought a great victory you see that the most high is going to work great victories through his men once again man this is a part of our heritage this is a part of our culture man for the most high to pour his power pour, pour his spirit into us and turn us up to a whole different level that the world cannot even fathom, man. You know, we read these scriptures and people scoff them out, and it all goes back to what? Their lack of faith, man. Hey, but the Wadi Habashim Al Shah for blessing men and brothers with with this uh, beautiful gift of faith, the water. Verse 13. And three of the and three of the thirty chief went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adunal. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Raphael. And David was there in an hold. And the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, O oh, that one would give me drink, give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men brake through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So these men went and fought. Three men went and fought a host of the Philistines just to get King David water, man. You see? And they did it all through the power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. You see? Verse 17, and he said, Be it far from me, O Yahweh, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went out in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink, drink it. These things did these three mighty men. Verse 18, and Abishai, the brother of Joab, the son of Zuriah, Zuruiah, the chief among among three. And he lifted up his spear against three hundred, and he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them, and had the name among three. You see that? So this letting us know no matter what type of odds we're facing, man. No no matter what type of odds we're facing, no matter what Esau comes with, hey man, we always have the advantage. Because what? We serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. There's never, there's never going to be a time where we're going to be outnumbered or at the disadvantage. No, man. As long as we got Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on our side, man, we have the advantage always, no matter what situation we're in. We could be facing 10,000 men and we're just two brothers. Guess who's going to win? The men of the Lord. You see? Call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 19. He was not most honorable, was was he not most honorable of three? Therefore he was their captain. Howbeit he, he obtained not until the first three. Verse 20. And Benaiah, the son of Jeho Jehoada, Hoada, the son of a valiant man of Kabziel, who had done many acts. He slew two lion like men of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of the pit in the time of snow. You see that? straight power man and he slew an Egyptian a goodly man and the Egyptian had a spear in his hand and he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear bad man all through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah you see going back into what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah teach of our hands to war man it's not going to be done by nothing we, we, we've we learned man it's all going to be because the Most High is going to pour that spirit upon us and he's going to teach us how to war man he said he's going to teach us how to uh, truly fight, man. You see? Verse 22. 
these things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among three mighty men. He was more honorable than the thirty, but he attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. So that's an account of the mighty men of David and the great power that the Most High bestowed upon them. And this same power is coming to men upon this planet Earth in the near future, man. You see, that's what's coming. That's what's coming, man. And why? And, and why is it gonna come? This is why. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Shemiah Shah from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When his in, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah shall lift up a standard against him. And that's why the most high is gonna bestow that power upon us. Because when Esau comes in like a flood to try to destroy the men of the Lord, he's gonna pour that power upon us just as he did the mighty man of King David, man. You see that? Just as he poured the spirit upon uh, uh, Samson. Just as he poured the spirit upon Elijah to call down fire from heaven, man. The Most High is going to lift up a standard for us when these devils come up come up against us to try to destroy us, man. And we believe all that through faith. <laughs> That's what's coming, man. A great standard is lifted. Great power is about to be be displayed upon the planet Earth through uh, by way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. That's what's coming because these, dev these devils are coming. They're planning and plotting to come and destroy the men of the Lord. And how else are we going to overcome these devils, man? There's only one logical way. And that's for the Most High to pour His Spirit upon us heavily and allow us to take down these wicked ass people, man. That's the only way. Guns is not going to do it. Going to buy tanks and all this, that's not the answer, man. The answer is sitting your ass down, waiting upon your Hababashi Miyawashah to lift up that standard, man. You see? That's that's how the victory is going to be won, man. Through the Spirit and power of Yahabashi Miyawashah. So let's go into Isaiah, uh, let's go to Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41 and 19. Matter of fact, was it another one? Before I get that one. No, no, no. I, I'll read this one. Isaiah 41 and 19, uh, 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee. So the most I telling us not to fear, man. When the enemy come in like a flood, don't fear. He told us he was going to help us. He was going to help us, man. And we believe all that through our faith, by faith and not by sight, man. We live in by our faith. So Isaiah 41 and 14, fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save Yahweh by Shemi Shah, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. You see that? So the Most High has promised that he was going to help us, man, in these times of trouble. When Esau come in like a flood, we just read it in Isaiah 59 and 19, man. That's the Most High helping us by lifting up that standard. You see? The help is going to come from the heavens, man. The help is not going to come from your fucking... Uh, uh, AR-15, your AK-47, your Desert Eagle, or whatever you think you are going to do by putting your trust in these weapons, man. The help is going to come from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. Thou shalt make the hills as chaff. The Most High is going to turn us into weapons, man. You see? That's what's about to happen with the men of the Lord. The Most High is about to turn us into destroying instruments, man, to take down these governments, man. You see? Verse 16. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. And that's exactly what we're going to do, man. We're going to rejoice and give our praise on and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because we know that these victories that we're going to win in the days coming is all through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Matter of fact, I don't think I had this one. No, oh, I didn't. Jeremiah 16 and 16, because right now, this, this is the spirit we're in right now. Listen. Behold, I will send for many fishes. Say, if you how about Shemiah was shot, and they shall fish them. And that's what we're doing now. By casting up this word to reel in the elect, man. We're fishing right now. You see? And after will I send for many hunters. That's when the most I was going to turn us into new sharp threshing instruments having teeth, man. And they shall hunt them every one. From every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. That's what the Most High is about to turn us into, that spiritual power, man. He's going to turn us from fishers into hunters, man. And we believe all this through our faith. You see? That's coming, man. There's, hey, that's what uh, Yahweh Shah said, man. With man, it is impossible, but there is nothing impossible for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. You see? There's nothing impossible for our Father, man. 
he can do all things. You see that? So let's go to Zechariah 12 and 8. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And how is he going to do that? By raising up that standard for us, man. Whether that be by uh, brothers receiving spiritual powers from the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shah, or whether it be the angels finally manifesting themselves, the angels that encamp, that, that encamp about us manifesting themselves to defend us and fight for us. However, the most high sees fit, the standard is going to be lifted, and he's going to defend us, man. He's going to defend his remnant. You see? So Zechariah 12 and 8, In that day shall Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them in, at that day shall be as David. You see that? We just read what, what King David was doing, man. Jumping over walls, running through armies, man. By himself. Feet like hind's feet. You see? It says what? Well, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Great power, man. And the house of David, you see that? The house of David shall be as the most high. And the angel of Yahweh before them. You see that? We're about to get, we're about to receive great power, man, if we continue to be diligent and steadfast in this truth, man. Continue to keep our faith and hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He's about to pour great power upon us because that's what we're going to need, you see? So we can be defended from these damn enemies, man, especially from Esau, because this nigga's about to pull out all the stops, man. This nigga's about to come full force. And the only way to overcome this motherfucker is by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's the only way. Nothing else makes sense. Nothing else is logical, man. Because you have to understand the power that the Most High has given unto Esau. This nigga, this nigga Esau got army. He got navy. He got air force. He got marines. He got coast guard. He got submarines. He got warships. He got drones. He got fighter jets. You see, he got super soldiers. He got robots. You know what I'm saying? He got direct energy weapons. He got microwave weapons. He can use your, he can he can turn up the radiation on your damn cell phone. You know what I'm saying? And fry your ass, man. It's it's so many ways. It's so much the most high has given him with this sword, man. There is no logical way that we can fight against Esau carnally, man. That shit don't make sense. You got people always want to talk about logic. Well, logic is we we can't we can't win against Esau carnally, man. The only way we're gonna be able to win is 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 divine intervention, man, and that's what's about to happen. Power is going to have to rain down from heaven upon the men of the Lord so we can we can uh, overcome these devils, man. So you Jason, I'm talking about this, this nigga Esau got tanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga got nukes. And you talking about going to get some damn guns to defend yourself. Boy, y'all, y'all don't, y'all just don't understand, man. You don't understand the power the most high is giving this devil with this sword, man. That's that man's blessing. He has been perfecting it ever since he got it. You see? Motherfucker got satellites with weapons on it. He can fry, fry you in the top of your damn head before you even know what the fuck is going on, man. So we're going to need that power from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We're going to need to be defended by the Heavenly Father, by Yahweh Shah, by the Heavenly Host. That's why I tell you that Michael the Archangel is going to st <coughs> Michael the Archangel is gonna have to stand up to fight against us. That's a part of the standard being lifted, man. Because that's how bad it's going to get out here. And if we don't have that protection from the Most High, we're done for, man. So we're going to need that spiritual power to come. So you scoffing, you scoffing and laughing about spiritual power coming, talking about we waiting for angels or something to come down from heaven and save us. You're damn right. Because that's the only way we can win. That's the only way we can win, man. It's by that spiritual power coming, by that standard being lifted. That's the only way. You see? That's the only way, man. And it will be lifted. And we believe all that through our what? Through our faith, man. Through our faith, this will happen. Let's get Isaiah 40. And I got a few more and I'll wrap it up. Isaiah 40, because this is coming, man. Isaiah 40 and uh, 28. Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Let me go. Uh, what Yahweh Shah said. Yup. This is John 14. Because how I was doing, he was doing marvelous. Well, he was walking on water. He was disappearing and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People trying to come up and get him, push him off mountains. He was disappearing through the crowd. You know what I'm saying? On some ninja shit, man. You see? But how I told us this. When you go to, when you go to it, it's going to be in the red letter. What is? Damn, I lost it. 
What was it? Uh, yep. Uh, John 14 and 12. Verily, 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 the red letter, Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. So it says, John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also. What, what was Yahweh Shah doing? He was healing people. He was raising people from the dead, walking on water, disappearing, you know, uh, disguising himself, looking like somebody else. Yahweh Shah was doing marvelous things, and that's just the things that's written about, you know. So John 14 and 14, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, he said, and that's all through what? Through faith. The works that I shall do, slot, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. You see that? So we're going to do even greater works than Yahweh Shah did because he's back on the right hand side of the Most High with even more power. You see? And, said, and it says what? And, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name will I do that my father, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. And that's what we've been praying for, spiritual power, praying for the power to overcome our enemies. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Yahweh Shah, so guess what? The Most High is going to, he's going to give us that, man. And that's what's written. You see, that's what's written to, for us to receive a victory through the power of our Father through our brother, Yahweh Shah, man. You see? It's coming. It's coming. This is what you, this is what you either might have to look forward to when you try to come down upon the men of the Lord. You see? Prepare to get your ass whooped, man. You know, you're going to be able to take some brothers off and brothers going to have to be martyrs. But you're not going to get all the brothers, man. The Most High is about to, hey, the Most High is about to be glorified in this earth, man. His, his name is about to ring bells in this earth once again, man. Because of this great power that he's about to pour upon his men. That's what's coming. So let's go on to Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. So all you people always oh, ask fake, that's boy, y'all crazy, this is none and other. There is no there is no searching of the understanding of the heavenly father, man. The most high is far beyond anything that you can comprehend with your little measly mortal mind, man. You see? You can't fucking fathom the great power the Heavenly Father has, man. We can't even fathom him. And we serve him. You know what I'm saying? But we know it's great. We know it's great. And we can't even put words to how great the most high is, man. You see? So for all you people that, that, that don't believe in it, that don't have the spirit to believe in it, there, you, there is no way you can understand Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So when we tell you about spiritual powers coming, this and that and the other, you know, great the, the great power that King David had, his mighty man had, Samson and Elijah. You can't believe it because first and foremost, you don't have faith to. And you always want to do something with uh log well, logically that's not possible. Well, hey, what what do Yahweh Shah say? What do Yahweh Shah say, man? Matthew 19 and 26. But Yahweh Shah beheld them and said with, unto them, With men this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. So to give his men's power to run through 10,000 men, guess what? That's possible with the Most High. To give, to give 20 men the power to run, to run through 50,000, guess what? That's possible with the Most High. You see? There is nothing impossible for our power, man. He is unlimited power. We just read he don't faint, man. He don't get tired. He don't faint. He don't rest. The creator of the heavens and the earth. You see? For him to give us the power to run through troops as, as a hot knife through butter, that's a small thing with the Most High, man. You see? Mark chapter 10, verse 27, And Yahweh shall looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible, but not with the Most High. For with the Most High, all things are possible. All things are possible with our Father, man. Luke 18 and 27, and he said, These things which are impossible with men are possible with the Most High. So don't come to us with your logic bullshit and your theoretically this and this. You know how you Edomites do. Everything we written, that, drag, hey, what, that, that stuff you see on the animes, that Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm saying, that One Piece stuff, all that. 
that's possible with the most high for him to give that to uh men upon this planet earth and that's what he's gonna do man you see for us to be out here like superman you see like the avengers man out here like the incredible hope you see the most i can do that man it's a light thing with the most i to do that man you see so isaiah 40 and 28 there is no searching of his understanding he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases in strength. He increases strength, you see? And we have no might, man. We have no power. So the Most High is going to increase us in strength. Lord willing, we be that, be those men. You see? And, and it's about to be a, a, a level of power the world has never seen before, man. Verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. All those that don't have this power, all those that that, that, that the Most High is not dealing with. You see, young men utterly fallen, man, weary, tired, you see? But it says, what in 31? But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, shall renew their strength. And that's what we're doing, man. We're waiting upon the Lord, man. We're not out here trying to uh, get no carnal victory over Esau, man, because we know that's not the way. It's not going to happen, man. You're going to lose that battle every time. Ten times, ten out of ten, you're trying to go up against Esau, you're going to lose, man. You're trying to go up against Esau carnally with the weapon. You're going to lose that battle 10 out of 10 times, man. Every fucking time you're going to lose it because that's not our blessing. You see? So Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon you, how about Shimei, how about shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You see that? We're going to be able to fly, man. We're going to be able to fly. Just like Neo at the end of the Matrix, man. He had already broken the code of the system. You see? And he looked up and he just took off flying, man. That's what's about to happen with the men of the Lord in these times, man. We are going to be able to fly as it is written. They shall run and not be weary. We're going we're gonna, to gonna have endless stamina, man, to run across this country back and forth endlessly and not be tired, man. That's the type of power the most High going to bestow upon us, man. You see? They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's the type of power the most High is about to bestow upon this man, man. You see? And it's going to be very much needed in these times. So let's go on. Let's go to Jeremiah 51, man. Because this is what we are for the most high, man. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, talking to the men of the Lord, you see. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And that's what the most high is going to use us for, man. We are his servants, and we're going to do his bidding, man. We're going to do the will of the most high. We're going to take down you nations and you kingdoms, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to be a hostile takeover, you see, once Yahweh Shah returns, man. Shit, we're going to be getting busy before Yahweh Shah returns. We're going, to have this, we're going to have the spiritual power when Yahweh Shah returns, man. And then when we're finally changed, we're going to go through all the earth and take down the rest of you wicked ass governments, man. You see? Verse 21 With thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider, going into Esau's military equipment. We're going to be snatching them fucking jets up out of the air. We're going to be running and shredding through them damn tanks. You see? Fucking throwing your fucking Humvees from state to state. As if we're playing football, man. That's how that's how it's going to be out here, man. Hey, great power is about to come upon the men of the Lord, man. That great spiritual power the Most High has promised is coming. And we believe all that through our faith and not by sight, man. Verse 22. With thee also will I break in pieces, man and woman. We're going to be casting judgment upon people, destroying you wicked ass people, especially you two thirds, man. You niggas going to get it. You see that? All you mockers and talk, uh, shit talkers, you scoffers, man. We coming to, we coming to pay y'all visits, man. With that great power the most I going to uh, uh, put on us, man. And with thee will I break in pieces, old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces, the young man, the young man and the maid, just like it tells you in Ezekiel 9, man. You see? Go through the city and slay utterly old and young, both maid and little children and women. Let not your eyes spare. The most I gonna put that type of spirit on us, man. You see? Verse 23. I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. You see that? And this is the power that's gonna be coming that's coming upon us here in Babylon the Great, man. The Most High is gonna use us to cast judgment upon you wicked ass people, man. And we're gonna do all, all. We're gonna do it with that spiritual power the Most High blesses us with, man. Verse twenty-four: I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, which is America, 
all their evil they have done in Zion in, in your sight, say of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we're going to finally be able to get vengeance upon our enemies through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's why we wait upon the Lord. Yeah, let these people talk this shit, man. Let, it, let these people say what they want to say, man. You know what I'm saying? They plotting against us, whatever, man. At the end of the day, we're going to win, man. As it is written, we're going to get vengeance upon these people through, our, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And that's what's written, you know? So our time to get uh, uh, vengeance is coming, man. We just have to wait upon it. That's why it says what? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, man. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting upon the Most High to, to give us that green light, man. You see? And when he does, man, it's going hey, to be all out go, man. It's going to be, hey, it's going to be on, man. All gas on you motherfuckers, man. Finally. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, hey, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to rejoice in, 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 the, in the Most High as we're doing it, man. You see? So Micah chapter 4 and 13, and I'll wrap it up on this, man. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people. You see that? Because of what? That great power we're going to have, man. Now, when you go into this word horn in the Hebrew, the definition goes into what? Oh, uh, make the horn. Quran. In the Hebrew, it goes into what? Horn, horn of strength. Then you go down to definition F. It says of rays of light, man. You see? A ray of light, meaning what? We're going to be able to shoot energy from our bodies, man. Rays of light from our eyes, man. Energy blast from our hands, man. We're going to have power over the elements. You see? And with that power, we're going to what? Beat in pieces many people, man. That's what we're going to do. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And I will consecrate their gain unto Yahweh and their substance unto Yah the Lord of the whole earth. And we're going to come back and take all the possession that you have. And you, re you can read that in Isaiah 60, man. The wealth of the Gentiles is going to be converted unto the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. You see? So y'all ended on that, man. With great power is coming from the Lord. That standard is going to be lifted. For the men of the Lord, because these devils are planning to come against us. But guess what? When they do, they're going to run into a brick wall, man. They're going to run into a defense. And that defense is who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. He's going to stand up for us as he has promised. And we believe all of that through our faith, man. All through faith. You see that? So with that, man, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Aki him out there pushing his words in all truth and sincerity doing the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba.